when mommy got down that she couldn't hardly go, it was so odd to think well, that she can't go. She uh, was well, she uh, her tired. She tired. And now how well I can understand. I'd go over there every morning. She'd have the dirt raked up just right under the stove for me to, you know, clean up. Mm -hmm. She'd have it right up, the swept up. Swept up. Yeah. I never will forget the time I, I liked better. I still am pat about it when she lost coffee. Uh, they'd eat dinner and she was washing dishes. And all of a sudden she missed coffee. And she hollered at me. She said, Read Joe, come quick, Joe's gone. And I said, Mommy, where did Poppy go? She said, You know, I don't know. I sure wash your dishes. And I saw a man go through the by the yard with a hat on, but I didn't know it was Joe. So me and Vermont, I told Vermont, I said, Let's go. We took out. He was down there below the barn. And he said he was going home. And then he had socks on, but he didn't know shoes on. Oh, my goodness. Had his hat on. We brought him back to the house. When did he die? I mean... That was before he took his bed. Oh, okay. Uh, he, 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 his mind was bad. But his mind was going back to where he lived. He lived on pain. You think he had Alzheimer's? Uh, uh, no, no. It was that cancer in his head was what, what was wrong with him. Mm -hmm. Well, now, Daddy would cut... In the back. He pulled the skin up in the back. Well, he would cut like... Right at the back of the neck. Yeah, and, and do like this, grip, pull the skin up. Yeah, like, and cut the back of the neck, and, and, and then and it would be pulling like pulling the sweater off. Yeah, and pull it all the way down to the bottom, the back, yeah. b the back feet. Yeah, and then and then cut the head off. Yeah, and then you'd have no hair yeah. on the. Now Otis would get him by the tail. He'd cut the tail somehow or another, and he could take that down over their feet and everything, and every bit of it would come off. He was really good at it. Would you eat squirrel gravy now? Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Kurt had some in the freezer, and he, he's good about cleaning. And Gail asked me last year, she said, if we cook these squirrel, will you come over here and eat? I said, sure, well. They cooked them, and I went over, and they were delicious. Did it remind you of old times? Yeah. Tasted just like it did when we used to cook them. Mm. They were real good. I used to love But I didn't gravy. think so I could ever eat one. I didn't either. No, no, I don't I don't know if I could now. I did. I could did. you mother? Could you eat them? Well I remember you used to cook them. I mean oh, mercy, yes, we cook there's them. not a lot of meat on them, but they have a good flavor for the yeah. gravy. Well, didn't what, they? what meat there is though is meat. Really? The oh, legs yeah. are little but it's all meat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's not like breast meat. It's it's, it's like dark meat. Yeah. Sometimes mommy would cook them. And then she'd fry them a little bit and make gravy. And then sometimes she'd cook them and just make the gravy over that. Mm -hmm. Any way you fixed them, they were good, wouldn't it be written? They were good. 